So I visited a church today and the church service went well. It was actually a wonderful and a lovely church service at that. You know, she preached the word and, I, you know, it was wonderful. I had an issue with one part, though. Um, testimony service. Now, I love testimony service. Growing up in church, you know, with testimony service, you would give up and we give glory to God, you know, no matter you know, no matter what the testimony is or how long ago, we, you know, they let everybody get a chance to testify if possible. So, um, this particular time she, uh, she gets up and again, I'm visiting the church. She gets up and she's like, okay, who want to testify? So I immediately stand up like I want to testify. Mind you, I'm a visitor. So people notice me, people turn around and look at me, but nobody, apparently nobody wants me to testify, I guess, because I'm not a church member. Um, so the next thing I know, everybody pretty much ignores me. And then one of the members get up and they're like, oh, yes, Pastor so-and-so want to testify. And then this young lady approaches me and she's like, oh, what did you want to testify about? And I'm like, I'm not going to tell her like my whole testimony. Like I wanted to do it, you know, for the glory of God in front of the whole church, you know, and even for the viewers so they can hear my testimony. So I wasn't going to go through there and like spill my testimony to her. I didn't feel like a, a testimony screening was necessary, if that makes sense. Like, why are you trying to screen my testimony? Um, she was like, um, what are you trying to testify? I said, oh, I just want to give glory to God for what he's done for me. Something to that matter. Um, yeah, about what it, and she's like, well, was it most recent? And yes, it was recent, but just for the sake of what she was going to do, I looked at her and I said, no. And she was like, oh, well, we're just da 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 da. And automatically that didn't click with my spirit because that's not a move of God. That's focusing on religion. It's, it's almost like your church is a click. And the church is for everybody. That means if the homeless come in and visitors and strangers, if strippers, whoever come in, but they might want to stand up and say, you can say something as low. Like she was like, oh, well, it needs to be kind of recent. And it was recent, but I just wanted to see what she was going to say because God could have saved me 20 years ago. That's still a testimony. He could have delivered me from drugs 20 years ago. I could say something as well. He woke me up this morning or 30 years ago. That's still to, to God's glory. So I just wanted to get on here and remind people, do not operate in the spirit of religion. Religion. And she was a young female. Maybe she thought, oh, she's just trying to be cute and get on camera. Um, don't operate in the spirit of religion, in the spirit of jealousy, in the spirit of, oh, a church cult where if you're not a member, or you're just a visitor, we don't want you on camera because this is not about you. Then you're kind of like standing in the way of God's glory. Um, most of the time people stand up for testimony service. They just don't testify nothing's they're not gonna really do too much and if they do that's when you step in and be like okay you know we gotta move on but most of the time people just gonna get up there and testify and keep it moving but the fact that she basically was like you're not a member or and what i noticed was when i asked the young lady i was like you know i asked the lady the young lady left another young lady i was trying to get her attention i couldn't so i got the other young lady. i said well it is recent and i was like so was she saying that you have to be a member because it didn't sit right with my spirit and she was like i don't know let me go ask and the lady the young lady came back and she was like basically it has to be an in-house testimony member meaning you have to be a member or it has to be something to deal with what the pastor or somebody did for you or if their uh prophecy or something came true so i noticed each one of them that stood up they gave a test testimony but it was basically about what the pastor said and the prophecy coming through or the pastor saying you're going to be healed and, the com and it coming true so since I was not a member and I was a visitor they was like oh no you can't testify because it's really am I supposed to be glorifying your pastor or glorifying my God so I want to remind churches not to operate in the spirit of idolatry worshiping your pastor instead of God and the spirit of religion and the spirit of click clickiness because when I say that was so ugly I've never seen nothing like that and I visited many churches different denominations I grew up up, of course in the Pentecostal church let me tell you something when the homeless people come in if a stripper come in for testimony sir we finna let everybody let everything that have breath praise Lord we finna let everybody get up and give God's glory we're not gonna discriminate period and we save and Holy Ghost field and they call us the strictest of the strictest guess what we're gonna give everybody a chance to praise the Lord you don't have to be a member I'm not giving honor or don't get me wrong you give honor first to God and in the past and first lady but I'm not praising them so what they did for that moment was they was just like only testimony services that related to the the man of God's word coming true in your life. The man of God is not God. He is just the man of God. But you should not limit people's testimony to only your church members or only if it's if the pastor said something didn't came true. I got a testimony just about what God is doing for me right now in my life about everything I'm going through. You know, and they didn't allow me to share that. It's kind of like they stood in God's glory, in the way of God's glory. And that's not what's up. So I wanted to remind y'all churches out here, please don't be doing the most. 
please, again, do not operate in the spirit of idolatry where if the testimony ain't doing something for your pastor or first lady or if it ain't about their prophecy coming true where I can't testify because it's not about them. It's about what God has done for me. I might not know your pastor and first lady. I might just be coming off the streets. God might be one to save me. I might testify how the, the spirit moved on me and now I'm filled with the Holy Spirit and God delivered me from uh, fornication, adultery, homosexuality, whatever. I could be one to testify like, oh, I just got filled with the Holy Spirit. But because y'all said, oh, you're not a member. Oh, you're not going to praise and uplift our pastor. What the heck is that? That's not really testimony service because during testimony service, we're supposed to glorify God. And again, it was a lovely church. I enjoyed it. But that part right there was religion. It was some idolatry. Um, I don't know if it was some jealousy involved. I don't know what they was on, but it wasn't cool. She was like, oh, well, we're really just doing in-house right now, but you can come back Wednesday. And when I say I was the first one to stand up, I don't think the lady at the front saw me, but a lot of the members at the front did. They all turned around and nobody said anything. See, back in my church, they would have been like, she she need a microphone. She want to testify. Nobody. That was so ugly, bro. That is not of God. And then a pastor stood up, somebody that they all knew. And they was like, oh, pastor so-and-so. And they just like overlooked me. But what they did was try to play it off with sending girl. And she was like, what did you want to testify about? Was this recent? Or It don't matter if it was 2,000 years ago. If it's what God did for me, it's for God's glory. Churches, get right. Get in and operate. Make sure you are operating by the spirit of God and not by self, not by idolatry and not by religion and not out of jealousy or clickiness because that is not of God. And all those distractions in church, all that moving, running and walking up and down, all that talking, limit that and let the spirit of God move. Some of y'all be uh, spending so much time looking at everybody else in church. This one lady kept staring at me the whole time. You are being a distraction. Put your eyes on God. Like turn around, <laughs> put your eyes on God and don't limit the move of God. If somebody is coming to testify don't stand in their way they don't have to know y'all they don't have to know the man of god they gl giving glory to god allow them to do that allow them to glorify god get out of religion and clickiness and idolatry of your past and first lady i've never seen nothing like that before churches let's get right because that is not god's will and he's not pleased with that god want his glory from any and everybody we are all one body i might be a visitor but we're still as part of the body don't stand in anyone's way of testifying and mind you i wasn't even the last one up oh we'll wait till next i was the first one and oh what did you want was it recent oh well it's kind of just for the that's not God. Mm -mm. So churches, watch that and make sure you're being spirit led and not flesh led and not operating in female jealousy and clickiness, idolatry and religion. Get out of God's way. Let him have his way. Be spirit led. And that's a, I hate to say it, but that's something you have to watch with these young churches. Back in the older church, they would have been like, get that baby the microphone. She trying to, but these young folks, the girls be looking, oh, she thinks she cute. Uh -uh. She don't go to this church. Y'all better let the Holy Spirit lead you. Oh, folks, we need y'all because we need that wisdom. We need that discernment. Y'all are level-headed. Like, y'all don't be on that clicky, competitive stuff. Y'all just led by the Holy Spirit. Young folks, they kind of, even when they say they kind of, uh, be Holy Spirit-led. Somebody's coming to testify, don't discriminate against them, even if they are not a part of your church. I don't care if it was 30,000 years ago. Like I said, let God get his glory, period. Churches, get in order. That wasn't cool, period.